Every year, the Dublin Film Critics Circle pick their highlights from the Jameson Dublin International Film Festival, and we went along tonight to find out who would receive the awards. Firstly, what did the critics think of the programme this year for the film festival? It was, it was a wonderful programme and it was a particularly strong year for women and we were also very, very excited about a couple of new Irish films. In particular, there's a new Irish genre in town, which is the Irish mommy film, which you see in documentary form as, it, as his and hers and also in The Fading Light, which is a very hard-hitting, hardcore film, but just so wonderful, so powerful, so overwhelming. Then there was just so many individual highlights. Uh, Bad Lieutenant, the Werner Herzog film was so brilliant and we, we all really enjoyed it uh, Dogtooth, a new film from Greece was just, just remarkable and, and really just a total curveball nobody nobody could expect anything that's going to happen next in Dogtooth but at the end of the day we were very, very sure about Samson and Delilah from Australia, it is such a beautiful film, almost wordless and a really, really good teen story so one that hopefully will reach out over lots of different demographics, it won't just be an art house or festival film and of course, um, one of the festival's founders, Michael, unfortunately passed away earlier this year and there was an award um, in his honour. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, Michael Dwyer was, a, because we're a very small little group of people who are stuck together every morning at 10 o'clock watching films when no human being should be watching films. We all get used to each other. We all see each other all the time. So, you know, we've lost a friend and a colleague in Michael and, and a lot of us miss him very much, just little things. because He had a great organisational brain. So we, we wanted to honour him by finding someone that could, you know, sort of further his legacy and keep, and keep the name going. So we wanted to do the Discovery Award. Uh, it just seemed a really nice fit. And there was never any doubt that it was going to go to Kate McCullough, who's the cinematographer head for his and hers. She has such a keen eye. She has such a precise mind. It was just all things that Michael was going to love, and we just knew it. It's been quite an adventure since the Jameson Dublin International Film Festival got underway right here 10 days ago. Now that night Colin Farrell was here with his new movie on Dean. Tonight Oscar winning actress Tilda Swinton brought her new movie I Am Love to the Savoy for the closing gala. Yes, first we did the festival and to the city. Oh, and how are you finding it so far? I mean, I've been in a hotel room. I just arrived and I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I wish I can come back very soon. That's so unfortunate. And now, this isn't the first time you've worked with Tilda before. How did you first like that relationship with her? I mean, I approached her. I was very young and I said I'd like to work with you. And we became friends and things came up very smoothly after that. And how's the experience so far? <laughs> it's pretty short, unfortunately. Um, I, I've never been to Dublin outside of the film festival, and I always regret it. So. Oh, and you have been on the first festival circle a lot. How does this compare to other festivals? Well, I was the just world? saying that the list of films that have been shown during this festival are awesome. I mean, really, really exciting and 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 stretching. And I hope and I feel sure that that the audience here will have been really inspired by it, and they'll go out into the year going, you know what, maybe I'll go and see that foreign film that I've never heard of, because that's what festivals do. They give the audience kind of courage to take risks and see things that they wouldn't normally see. And of course, in 2008, you had your own festival in your, your own home. And 2009, was it, was, um, it was fantastic. We have, uh, like most small villages all over Europe, or maybe the world, there's a kind of cinema-sized hole in the middle of the of the town and uh, in fact there were two cinemas in our wee village um, and now there's just a multiplex half an hour away which kind of shows Avatar and nothing else so we decided to show some of our favourite DVDs and um, it was wonderful people were very jazzed by it just before you go inside what are you working on next? I'm making a film with Lynn Ramsey who's a great Scottish filmmaker colleague of mine who made Ratcatcher and Morven Calla and we're making a film which shoots in America uh, it's an adaptation of the Lionel Shriver novel, You Need to Talk About Kevin, uh, and we're making it in a couple of months. 
brilliant. And please. then I'm working with Luca again. <laughs> he said he wouldn't again. like to work with anyone other than you. Oh, I thought you were going to say he wouldn't like to work with me again, <laughs> so then maybe I'm not no, working with him. No, he said if there said was anyone in the world that he could work with, it would be still Good, excellent. Right answer. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy your evening.